Well, decisions, decisions. Been looking at the weather and uh, there's a big low coming up the coast in a couple of days and it's gonna push up some really big swells like four or five meters they're saying. So I don't wanna be crossing the bar at Yamba in those sort of conditions. Uh, I was gonna to leave tomorrow morning early uh, on the high tide, but look, it's a fantastic day. There's hardly any wind here. The forecast is for some very light northerlies, which I'd rather not have but I can probably handle the lighter stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna start making my way up to Coffs Harbour. I'll go up to Coffs. If the weather's good, I'll keep on going. I'll keep on going all the way to Yamba. That'll put me there uh, probably about uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, and we'll get in across that bar before these swells start standing up. I'm not really going to uh, cross these bars when the swells are really big, so. Um, We'll just make a few miles, and I can always use Coffs Harbour as a uh, safety valve. If uh, the conditions aren't that great, I'll jump into Coffs and uh, get some respite there. Anyway, uh, first thing is to get out across the bar at uh, McLean, at, at the McClay River. So it looks pretty good. We went down and had a look at it, and it looks flat as, so uh, I'm crossing it at the run out, but there's really nothing on it, so we should be okay. Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Just head a bit across to starboard here to uh, get around this sandbank and that'll put us on the leads to skip out across the bar. Dropping into deep water now, so we're out across that bar. And I think I'm glad I've done it now in uh, better conditions. So now I'm going to set up a course for um, Coffs Harbour. Virtually, it's a straight line from here to Coffs. Just looking to see if I can use some of this breeze, but I think it's a little bit too fine. I might be able to get a bit of sail out, but uh, yeah, it's pretty pleasant. I just don't know. I suppose I could try it. Nearly hold a bit there. We might have a look at it, though, because it'll get our speed up a bit. I think it's a bit too uh, close to the bow, so I'm not going to get on that. I won't bother. Um, plan is probably to get north of uh, Coff, North Solitary Island. There's a couple of moorings uh, under that. If I can get to there, it'll be at night time, but I should be able to find them all right. Moonlit night should be good. Uh, if I can get to there, I'll pick up uh, one of the moorings and then I can have a sleep for four or five hours. And when the wind gets up from the, it's supposed to come up from the southwest, once it starts puffing in there, I'll get going and ride it up to uh, Yamba. So that'd be a good way of breaking it up. 
we'll just see how it all goes. But uh, I just hope that this northerly doesn't get up too much stronger than this uh, at the moment because it's uh, definitely heading us and not the best point of sail for this old girl. Once again, you can't beat the old toasted ham and cheese sandwich. Oh, hot though. winds are not round far enough to uh, do any sailing nearly but not quite and it seems to be dropping right out so uh, it wouldn't give us much anyway but it's very pleasant out here very nice uh, it'll be easy doing it overnight uh, um, up to uh, Iluka tonight we've got a full moon as well so I'll have plenty of light just really nice out here and I think this breeze is probably going to drop out when it gets dark and uh, it should be just a good trip up. So it's going to be a long one. Uh, I won't be there till about six o'clock tomorrow morning, but um, yeah, that's okay. We can uh, do that sort of a trip when the conditions are good like this. If I did stop at uh, the Solitary Islands, I could pick up a mooring there, but I wouldn't get there till 10 o'clock tonight. So I'd be bouncing around in the dark trying to find the moorings for one. And the other thing is I have to probably wait till halfway through tomorrow before I get a bit of decent um, uh, southwesterly, so uh, that'll be a bit stronger tomorrow. But I think I'll just keep going. I think it's going to be pretty pleasant uh, heading up there tonight. So I think instead of sitting around hanging off a mooring, trying to find a mooring, and then hanging off it, uh, I'm just going to keep on punching up to Iluka Yamba. having uh, a bit of a look in the engine room before it gets dark they look pretty good down there so we should be right for another probably uh, 13 or 14 hours I think I just had a shower and a shave and uh, the weather's deteriorated a little bit. We've got a sea breeze happening now so the land's warming up and the cold air over the ocean has been drawn over across the land and lifted so it creates what's called a sea breeze. Blowing up to around 10 knots uh, at the moment. It's on the nose a little bit and uh, it is slowing us down somewhat making it a little bit more uncomfortable. As it gets dark that'll all calm down I hope. Uh, I'll have another look at the forecast in a minute and see what they're forecasting and uh, I think we'll just push on through this for um, a little bit of time. It's making us a bit slower but um, if, it, if it comes back to being calm again it should be a good night for getting further up. So anyway, share and a shave always feels good. Bit of dinner soon and uh, we'll be ready for a bit of night running. a little bit south of uh, Coffs Harbour now so I'm going to wait for the forecast new forecast comes out in about uh, 15 minutes I'll have a look at that and decide whether we're going to run into Coffs or whether we're going to keep going the uh, the winds got up to about 10 knots it's a little bit ugly on the nose It's a lot better going with this but uh, yeah it's a bit ordinary um, when we're into it like this so we get relief in coughs, but I'm just worried about what's going to happen tomorrow because uh, they've got a strong wind warning out now for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we might be better off to just keep on uh, heading up. I'll get in close to the coast and the last forecast said the wind was going to go around to the west a bit. So that would put it offshore and uh, might make it a bit more comfortable in there. But we'll have a look at the updated forecast in about 15 minutes. 
So just coming up on Coffs Harbour now. Now I've got the latest forecast and the wind has gone around a little bit to the west so it's coming offshore a bit. So I'm going to get around Corfs Island just up in front of us and then I'm going to uh, head a bit further up and I'll stay in pretty close to the shore. So that'll get us out of any rough weather and if the wind goes around a little bit further to the west I might be able to crack a bit of sail out too. So a few little islands and things I've got to navigate around uh, once I get past Coffs here. But um, yeah, the wind, it's not too bad traveling at the moment. So uh, I think I'll keep on pushing up. We'll be up in uh, Yamba very early tomorrow morning. Well, it's been uh, a pretty long night, but you do get uh, a second wind when the sun starts coming up, so nice sunrise coming up. We didn't get much of a moon last night. Uh, it was a good moon when it rose, but then it became cloudy and uh, pretty overcast all night. The wind's been pretty well on the nose. I haven't done much sailing at all. Uh, the motors have done most of the work getting us here and I've stayed in pretty close to the shore uh, just to keep out of the swells. So I've really been beach hopping uh, all the way up. We've averaged well under five knots, probably about four and a half, I reckon. And uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a slow trip, but we're nearly there, so uh, it's good. All I've got to do now is um, work out what I'm gonna do when I get into the river. Uh, I'll get there, it should be light enough, um, well it's light enough now to really cross the bar to have a look at it, but um, it'll be a bit lighter by the time I get there, I've got another 30 minutes to run, so uh, I'll have a good look at the bar and uh, skip into the river, and then I've got to work out, am I going to stay at uh, Iluka or Yamba or head up uh, maybe to Harwood and uh, then possibly McLean. So I'll just see how I feel when I get into the river. But anyway, good to get this trip out the way because there is some wind and big swells coming. So um, we'll get out of them uh, being in the Clarence. Sometimes when this bar is working, uh, it is a, it's pretty flat today, but um, this trawler I'm following in, you can see he's heading pretty well for the uh, southern break wall, and you just hook around the top of that southern break wall and into the river. If you come in on the leads, it's sometimes the leads bring you across some uh, pretty ugly water, so, uh, this is usually a bit better than coming in on the leads. We'll just follow him in.
looking for anchorages uh, in the clearance. This one is uh, Whiting Beach, and it's a good one if you want to be on the Yamba side. You can walk up through the scrub there and be in Yamba in five minutes. And on the other side of the river is uh, the boat harbour at Iluka. Close to your neighbours though. One of my favourite spots on the coast, McLean. Where else do you get uh, a pontoon with power and water right alongside? And right in the middle of town. Wombi drives up from South West Rocks to spend some more time on the boat and I meet some old friends I haven't seen for over 12 months. I install a much needed muffler on the gen set and we visit a local bolo club where we eat the best Chinese we reckon we've ever had. 
Then it's back down river where we visit the Harwood Hilton before having the bridge open and travel down to the Yamba Tavern. See you next week dudes.